21 nothing our score. Lamarck leading Liberty at halftime, and it is our great privilege to be here with the man that really put Lamarck football on the map. Ten years ago, we ranked the top ten teams in Galveston County football history when the Galveston Daily News and the 1963 Cougars were ranked the number seven, due in part with a big help from this man here, Norm Bulash, who ends up going to TCU, stars there with the Horned Frogs, first round pick in the 1970 NFL Draft. And what you know, as a rookie, he wins the Super Bowl <laughs> with the Baltimore Colts. Had yeah, a that's, stellar... a, that's the Baltimore Colts now, nope. not yes. the Indy Colts. <laughs> Baltimore back in the old Memorial Stadium. Yes. Outstanding career that goes to Philadelphia and then spends the last five seasons of his career with Don Shula and the Miami Dolphins. Norm, it is a great honor and privilege to have you here. What are your thoughts on the first half of tonight thus far? Well, Right now, it's great. When we first started, I'm thinking uh, maybe they won't ask me back uh, to come back to a game. Uh, now we're in good shape. I congratulate you. both of us running back and the Lions doing a great job. I'm, it's, it's fun to be here. I, Lamarck's very special in my heart forever and uh, great place to grow up in. And uh, I just want to come back and share, share that with uh, the team here. Uh, Brandon, Prior right behind you there, let's, let's, uh, let's uh, show the – the viewing audience here with uh, Mr. Boulash, it's actually brought us. You don't really there have to go. open it up, but you can kind of get it to where you can yep. show what it is. Yeah, we can yep. take, yeah, yeah, take, yeah. take it out. Prior yeah. to kickoff, Norm Boulash had the honor of speaking to the Lamarck team in the locker room before the game, and he also presented this to the Cougars. Norm, why don't you explain to us what that ball means? Well, the NFL uh, is put together. Is it, this is the 50th Super Bowl. Uh, 50th, 50th uh, Super Bowl. So we were in Super Bowl five, but it's a golden anniversary for the Super Bowl. They wanted to reach out to the high schools that the that the players that played in the Super Bowl could reach out to their team that they played with in high school. And so I put in, I called the coach, and I said, "Would y'all, would you be interested?" And so we had to go through the NFL, and they sent the ball, and find, it almost didn't get here. Uh, but it got here, and I, was, I presented it to the t players this morning, this afternoon. Yep. And also, I'm, I'm speaking here, Mike Lockwood here behind the camera, being able to just enjoy every moment of this. I was able to be in the locker room, was was honored to introduce Norman. And I, and I mentioned to Norman that uh, I remember I was uh, just barely getting out of elementary school when he was, uh, he was the top dog in Lamarck. He put Lamarck on the map. And uh, in 1971, when I graduated from Lamarck, I became, that was the first Lamarck Cougar class. I was watching him win that uh, Super Bowl V. Uh, Norman, right quick, let me ask you, what did it feel like when those final moments ticked off there, that first year in the NFL being able to win the Super Bowl? I mean, you know, kids just dream of just going to NFL. And for you in the first season, can you remember and, oh. and tell us maybe what, what it, was it a dream? It was, uh, yeah, sure it was a dream. It was, you know, at the to play, get drafted in the first round, 18th overall pick, and then you started my, I started my rookie year, and to line up in the huddle with Johnny Unitas, John, Ma <laughs> John Mackey, uh, all these all pros, and and uh, on defense we had Bubba Smith, Mike Curtis, you know, and I'm 20, 22 years old, and, and I'm in, I'm in all of, of all of them, yeah. and, and now I line up in the huddle with Johnny Unitas, you yeah. know, and uh, I made a mistake in talking in his huddle one time, and <laughs> he, he yelled at me. So <laughs> I, never, I, I never talked in his huddle again. But that was a great, you know. I was starting the Super Bowl. I didn't, I didn't have a great Super Bowl. I think the first playoff game, if you don't mind me telling the story, uh, first playoff game against Cincinnati, I had 127 yards, and against Oakland, the second playoff game, I had two touchdowns and 90-something yards against Oakland. So Unitas is telling me, Bulash, you're going to carry the ball 20 times in the Super Bowl. And at that time, I thought I was pretty good. So Super Bowl comes along. I carry the ball 16 times. I gain 26 yards. <laughs> I never, I, I, they, they things can change in a hurry, right? <laughs> Bob Lilly and Chuck Halley still wear my number on their forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, right quick, uh, just kind of go over. That was the, the Dallas Cowboys. And kind of give us those final moments, how it was set up. You guys won 16 to 13, but I think you had some key carries to set up for the winning touchdown. I mean, uh, uh, field goal, correct? Well, when you say key carries, all they told me was when Earl Morrow came in for Unitas, when he was a quarterback at that time, he said, Norm, 
Don't gain a yard. Don't lose a yard. Just move us over to the right a little bit. So that's what I did. Two plays. I moved over. Middle. We're in the middle of the crossbar. O'Brien kicks the field goal, and we win the game. So it, that was a yep. Good quality, stuff. Quality time. You know, and I'll right quick. I sent a picture, you know, you and I, I was, you, you honored me by letting me take a picture with you. And I sent it to my wife, who's actually right now, she's down in the Florida Keys. Well, and I'm I sorry. said, well, here's what I, yeah, that's just what I'm doing tonight, babe. She says, oh, I remember him. He lived right across the street from Grandma and Grandpa Rimmers. So <laughs> yes. the, with their, my wife is a Rimmers, so oh, you lived God. across the street from her grandparents. Well, <laughs> it, right, not the cross street, it's right, the Rimmers, the uh, uh, Oh my gosh, my mind just went. Uh oh. Like, uh, anyway, but, yes. But so we we've got a little bit of family connection. My wife knew exactly who you were, which <laughs> that impressed me because football to her. Eh. <laughs> no, it, you know, y'all trust me. Lamarck was special, and and and, and it's, it's still special. It should be special. Uh, they got a great team, and I'm gonna follow them to state. Hopefully. There you go. Well, we certainly look forward to having you for another five games, and again. <laughs> Norm, it is indeed our privilege and a great honor to be with you know, one of the ball players that set the foundation because Lamarck and those five state championships and the dominance that they've had over the last few decades, none of this is possible without the help of yourself, Orville Etheridge, and those players that started this run back in 1963. Yeah, and that's that, you say the players, they're the keys. We had such a good unity. You know, whether it be Bobby Etheridge or the quarterback, Jamel, uh, Lloyd Wainscott, who passed away this past year. Yep. It uh, was very special, and he was a great player. We had a lot of excellent players. I and, mean, you know, I I just was following, the, following them. Yeah, really Lloyd good. Wainscott I, played with the Houston Oilers. Yeah, yep. Oilers and uh, with Texas, All-American in Texas. Defense That's right. Texas. Yeah, right. One, one, you know, I miss him uh, very dearly. But anyway, it was a great place to grow up and um, had a ball. And we never won state, so – what, what, we were close. Yes, you did. San Juan Far, wasn't that far what? San, far San Juan Island. That was him. That was it. That kicker uh, missed the extra point. Yep. He, and then he, then he hits the crossbars and the field goal and yep. beats us 9-7 to seven or something. Something like that. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Back in, what was that, 66? 63. 64. 64, okay. 63 or 4. Whatever. Somewhere right. Yeah, somewhere back in there where some of the lot of people that are watching this, they don't even, they weren't born then, Norman. No, no, no. Yeah. no exactly. And that's, and, uh, but we had a great time. It was a great time for All them. right. Let's wrap it up here at halftime right. show. Again, uh, a great honor and a privilege to be with you, uh, Norm Bulash. And again, uh, again, it's just a great honor to have you here representing not just the National Football League, but the foundation of the city of Lamarck. Thank you. My pleasure. It's been my pleasure. All right. Go Cougs. All right.